channel everyone. Today we'll be talking about my personal favorite pistol brace, the SB Tactical HB PDW. This brace was originally designed for Q's Honey Badger PDW. The brace we'll be talking about today is as close as you can get with some minor improvements. If you're on the search for that perfect stabilizing brace for your new pistol AR build, look no further. Stick around for this video and you'll find out exactly why. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content because it really does help us out. But that's enough of that, let's get into the video. First things first, I wanna just take some time to admire how aesthetically pleasing this brace is. Not only is it one of the most compact pistol braces I've used, but the build quality on it is unrivaled. This brace is basically what you would get off of a Q's Honey Badger except with some minor improvements. The main one being that you don't need to use a Honey Badger upper receiver for it to actually work. I bought this brace to complete my new 300 blackout build called the Poor Man's Honey Badger. This brace comes in two different versions, a 5.56 300 blackout version seen here and a nine millimeter version. It is compatible with mil spec bolt carrier groups and AR lowers. And it's made out of three different materials. Polymer for the cheek pad, rubber for the butt pad, and aluminum for the rail extensions. They come available in two different colors, black or the original Honey Badger gray with the clear anodizing, but those are much harder to find. Where are they? Killing is making a choice. Where are they? Fully collapsed, the brace is only 5.75 inches. While fully extended, it reaches out to around 10.25 inches. This brace uses a proprietary buffer and tube, so you can't interchange those parts. The full assembly with all of its parts, including the buffer tube and spring, weighs in at just 16.4 ounces. Like most braces, it has a QD sling point ambidextrously on both sides. It has three adjustable points, fully collapsed like shown, half extended, and fully extended. This brings us to one of the main differences between this stock and the one that's actually on the Honey Badger. The one on the Honey Badger doesn't have this midpoint. It only has two points fully collapsed and fully extended. And I personally prefer this midpoint for shooting. The button they used is fairly nice, but there's a few things I wanna mention about it. First up, if your button looks used out of the box, it's not. I'm not too sure why, but I've seen at least 10 of these and every button I've seen has this slight weathering and paint chips to it when it's brand new. Another funny thing is they advertise this button as gold. I love gold. But you can obviously see that it's not. And the last point I wanna make is for all you lefties out there, there isn't a button on the other side. So it might be a little awkward at first to learn how to use this. The main appealing factor for me is how sturdy this brace is when you shoulder it. With many pistol braces, you'll notice that most of them do not keep their shape on the bottom portion that is intended to slide your arm through like so. However, with the way this brace was designed and the materials they used, I have not experienced that in any way, shape or form. This brace is very sturdy. So as long as the ATF doesn't succeed in their hunt for our pistol braces, this is hands down my favorite option out there for a personal defense weapon. Out of the box, uh, what's in the box? Not taking, me what's the in the fucking box? Which includes the buffer and spring, buffer tube, castle nut, and the castle nut wrench. Installation was not terrible, and they have a video to help you through it that I'll link in the description below, but I will say if you're new to firearms and don't have the proper supplies, I would let a gunsmith handle this. Now, here's the rough part. I've got some bad news. <laughs> the price. The 300 Blackout 556 model has an MSRP of $299 whereas the 9mm has an MSRP of 320. This is no doubt on the pricier side of pistol stabilizing braces, but I will say without a doubt you get what you pay for. I personally do not think I'll be purchasing any other pistol braces than this one moving forward. 
The unique aesthetic, the compact length, and the lightweight design make for an awesome addition to your PDW build. If you're interested more in this specific 300 Blackout build I did, which is composed mostly of parts by Palmetto State Armory, I will be releasing a video reviewing it next week, so make sure you subscribe to be notified when that drops. Well, that about wraps it up for this one, everybody. We hope you learned everything you wanted to know about the SB Tactical HB PDW. Let us know in the comments what your personal favorite pistol brace is. We would love to hear your opinion on it. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help us grow. As always, everyone, stay safe and have fun shooting.